and I'm not far from what turned out to be the most startling find anywhere in our search for ghosts of war. People have picked across the island ever since the war, but there's one place that everyone else went right past. It's a Japanese mess kit. <laughs> Bullet hole in it. Have a look at this cave. Looks pretty deep. Looks real deep. A haunting place. A spine chilling place. Fair dinkum, check this out. Chock a block with human remains. There is bones, there's someone's skull. The whole ground is scattered with bones. I have to be very careful with my foot placement. How's these are leg bones? Everything's torched, everything's been burnt. They probably hit him with those man packed flamethrowers. Here's a whole skeleton. A pair of boots here with the foot bones still in it. Leg bones snapped. One's okay. Comes up, attached to the hip. Look at this. There's the skull and the helmet. We've got all sorts of bottles, canteens, mess kits. Here's a rifle. Here's a rifle. You see, that's a rifle. Grenade. And the cave, it's just littered with them. Fair income in my wildest dreams. I never thought I'd experience such a, such a, such an encounter. Like, I've just got adrenaline just going through my veins. Veins are popping out. Woo, pins and needles, goosebumps all at once. All of my senses. It's incredible. It is power. Awesome. Real power. This tomb, this shrine, depicts the ghostly armies still on Pelilu. I'll never forget this. We should never forget this. The power, destruction, human sacrifice of World War II is in here with me right now. And these fused records, the last music these soldiers ever heard.